Hey again, it's Eugene Kim of Faster Than 20. I hope you enjoyed watching my workout from yesterday, part of the Stang Strategic Program. Today, I'm gonna to show you another workout that I did this morning. It's, it's one day after I did the workout yesterday. I'm gonna do the same workout as I did yesterday. It's the question dumping workout, where I essentially take five minutes to dump all the questions that are in my head and to sort them and to score them, and then I take about 10 minutes to answer them to the best of my ability. Like a real life physical workout, I hope you'll start to see the value of doing the workout immediately, but the real value comes with the repetition. And I think I'll, you'll see that when you uh, watch my workout from this morning and when you listen to the commentary. So I won't say much more than that right now. Maybe I'll talk about it afterwards in my commentary. In the meantime, enjoy. Here we are again for another morning of question dumping. What I'm looking at right now is yesterday's worksheet. Um, so really important thing to note when I do question dumping is that I don't review my questions at all from the previous workouts. I wanna start and focus exclusively on getting whatever is in my head out of my head. And it's actually interesting to compare what I capture, even if I repeat things from earlier workouts. And so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new worksheet for this morning and I'm going to put five minutes on the clock and I'm going to start just dumping questions. That first question, what is the problem I'm trying to solve? That one actually was something a, a colleague asked me the other day and I think that's been top of mind for a lot of reasons and so it's not surprising that that was the question that came up first for me. I think it's also interesting just watching me replay this in fast motion. It's shown that the questions pretty much are flowing. So I'm not stuck. I have a lot of things on my mind and they're just all coming out. And right on cue, as soon as I said that, it looked like not only did I start slowing down, but you saw right there, there was kind of a uh, protracted pause. And actually that question, how long should the staying strategic program be? That's a question that I ended up asking yesterday. I, I'm totally unaware of this at this point, but it's funny to watch this again and, and to be self-aware of what actually happened because it showed that when I kind of was out of questions and when I still had several minutes on the clock, I kind of went back to a question that I had been thinking about before, just completely unintentionally, subconsciously. And by asking that question, it unlocked a bunch of other questions, which I, I hope that you saw. So I'm in the process of sorting and scoring, scoring the questions right now. And actually what's happening right here is important. It didn't happen yesterday. Um, yesterday I did not ask any yes, no questions, but today I asked a bunch. And so I went ahead and I changed the yes, no questions to non yes, no questions. That's really important because a yes, no question only has two options. A non yes, no question has a bunch of options. So it's a lot more generative and it's a really good practice. You can also see as I'm sorting the questions that I have three questions that I scored a one, meaning my answer is highly uncertain at this moment. And yesterday I only had one question with a one. So it's interesting to see those scores crop up. So I'm answering the questions now. There's 10 minutes on the clock. You see I'm starting as I did yesterday with the threes. And as it turns out, the question I'm answering right now is the same exact question I asked yesterday. And the funny thing about reviewing that question and that answer is my question is almost exactly the same verbatim as my answer yesterday, which is nice. I mean, both times I scored it as a three, but it's nice to see that I'm consistent and I really know what the answer is. And it also shows the value of going through this exercise because when you write things down and when you repeat it a couple of times, it's sort of like, yeah, I know this. Remember that I know this, get it out of my head so I'm not fixated on it anymore and I can move on to things that I don't know and that I need to figure out.
So I'm still working on my threes. Answers are flowing pretty well. Unlike yesterday, there was that one question that I had scored a three originally, but was really more of a two. So it's, it's generally a good indicator if the answers are flowing that you probably, at least you think you know the answer. It's never a guarantee that you actually know the answer. So working on my last three here, and you can see that I've just taken up most of the 10 minutes just answering threes, not even getting around to the ones and twos. So um, in the next workout, I'm definitely gonna have to focus more on the questions I don't know about, but that's all okay in the question dumping process. So here I go, just churning out the answer to this question. I'm glad I know the answer to this question. That was the what is the problem I'm trying to solve. And it looks like I have a little more time left over. So I'm going to squeeze in an attempted answer at one of my questions with a score of a two. So I'm churning that out. And let's see if I can squeeze in one. Nope, I can't squeeze in one more. So time is up. Again, gave myself a pat on the back, took a deep breath. Congratulated myself on a workout well done. And I actually, um, as I mentioned, after I finished this workout, I did look at my previous questions and saw that I had repeated a question and an answer, which was kind of interesting and cool. There were a couple of things that I hope you picked up from watching me do the workout. First of all, I asked a bunch of different questions and that's totally normal. So the project that I'm thinking about, my collaboration gym project, is complicated. And there are a whole lot of questions that I have to keep a track of. So in the course of my day-to-day -day work, my mind is naturally going to focus on different questions depending on what's happening. So the value of doing the question dumping over and over again is getting those questions out of your head and all onto paper so you can keep track of them and do things with them, make sense of them. The other thing that I thought was really interesting about doing this workout the second time, and I'm glad it happened, it was totally not staged at all, was the fact that I repeated a question and repeated an answer from my previous workout almost completely verbatim. And that's really okay when it happens. When it happens, it's data. It shows that this is a question that's important to you, and it also shows that the fact that you can't remember that you did it before that it's just hard to keep track of things sometimes. And that's a value of writing things down and getting them out of your head as well. So in the next workout, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what I call a question, sen uh, question sense-making workout. And essentially what that means is we're gonna take the data from the previous two workouts and we're just gonna organize it so that we can do stuff with it. Looking forward to next time, see you then.